Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Naz. And I'm Alba, and we are in Madrid where we're currently kind of living. Yes, uh, and in this video, we're gonna take you through the pros and cons, if any, of living in Madrid. So come along with us, we'll show you a bit of the city and explain to you what it is like to live in the capital of Spain. Okay, the first best thing about living in Madrid is like we get amazing weather all year round. You obviously get winter and it gets cold, but the sun shines pretty much almost every day. So when you walk through the streets of Madrid during winter, you'll see people having coffee in a terrace and you'll be like, damn, but it's cold. It is, but when you're like getting the sun, it just feels really nice and you forget that it's so cold. Second reason to live in Spain, the food. Now, I'm not really a foodie, uh, and I've never really big, been a big fan of going to restaurants or going to cafes and eat, but ever since I moved to Spain, I take a lot more, more pleasure in going out into a cafe, having breakfast. For example, today we just came here, a coffee and uh, two pieces of bread with olive and tamaki was like two euros 80, which is super cheap and so tasty. But yeah, the food in general in Spain, uh, super, super good. I love myself a good paella, a good fideo, uh, uh, tor trozos, trozos de pan con tortilla, um, maybe or maybe not jamón, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love the food in Spain. Another great thing that Madrid has to offer is that no matter what you like, you will find it here. There's so many things to do. You like culture, you got it. We have some of the best museums in Europe. There is a lot of good nightlife. There's a lot of good restaurants. Shopping is really great. Literally anything, you'll find it in the city of Madrid. For example, we're in the street of Fuencarral now, one of the most famous streets of Madrid. And on the weekends, nowadays, they close the roads, so it becomes a pedestrian street. So it's really good to go for walks with your family or friends. Some people bring their skates uh, to do some skating in Fuencarral, which is like iconic. Um, so yeah, there's always something really nice to do. And the fact that the weather is good most of the time also helps you with making amazing plants outdoors. Another really good reason to live in Madrid is its location. Because it's centered in the middle of Spain, uh, the connections from here are really good. So for example, last year we went to Barcelona by train and it only took us two and a half hours, three hours. Uh, we also drove to Las Medulas, which is a UNESCO site, and Leon, in Castilla Leon, uh, and it took us a few hours as well. So from Madrid, you can really, really go anywhere. Uh, we also drive, for example, to Portugal very often. Uh, so the options are really, really huge uh, if you live here. And then of course, Madrid has a huge uh, airport with an international terminal, of course, uh, and it connects you to pretty much everywhere from Central and South America and North America to Asia, uh, Middle East and so on. So uh, we leverage that a lot because we travel a lot uh, and that's a really, really good plus if you live here and if you like traveling to other places. Flights from Madrid to other European cities are also very, very cheap, uh, especially if you want to go to France, to Germany, to Italy and so on. Um, it makes it really easy to, to go. Another great thing about Madrid is that if you don't really love the whole metropolis vibe, it is very easy to find parks and in fact Madrid is one of the greenest cities in Europe. So it's also great to go for walks and if you feel overwhelmed from the city and the busyness, you can find a lot of places to unwind and relax.
Right, so now the cons. So the first one for me is I think the pace of living in Madrid is just slower. Especially if you're used to a city like London or New York or a city where the pace is quite high and things get done quite quickly. If you come to, to Madrid, you will notice that, for example, in a professional setting, things don't get delivered as fast. Uh, lunch breaks are, you know, sometimes two hours, sometimes a little more, uh, with businesses actually closing during the lunch hours. Um, and also, I felt that everything happens kind of later in the day. Um, if, uh, if you don't like having lunch late at like 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. maybe, uh, then it won't really be the place for you. <laughs> or even going out is much later than, than in the UK, for example, which is what I was used to. But this is obviously just me. I'm the kind of person who, uh, if I have to wait 15 minutes for my bill to come at a res restaurant, I get anxious. I cannot deal. <laughs> uh, maybe that's one of the reasons to why I will never be truly happy. But then again, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. You'll never be happy this deep. <laughs> you mean in Madrid? No, I'm, I'm just a, a really anxious person. For me, things have to happen quite fast. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely think that uh, if you uh, relax, a chill kind of person, this is a really good place. It's just that for me, the pace is a little bit uh, uh, too slow. Another downside about Madrid that I feel is that it is quite tough to crack into the workplace and I say that because jobs usually ask for a lot of qualifications and young people often get paid less than they probably should in comparison to other European countries and people who are just starting out they usually need to do long hours and kind of you have a long way to go to prove yourself in Madrid. The last point, uh, one of the downsides of moving to Madrid, well, it's the bureaucracy. The paperwork you have to do just to move here to sort out your, uh, na the equivalent of national insurance, which is a NIE, uh, uh, the clave pin. I think everyone that's moved to Madrid has problems with a clave pin. Uh, doing your taxes, uh, registering for uh, free healthcare, all of that takes time, takes effort, takes patience, and a lot of resilience because there's just so much paperwork to do and to take care of. Uh, if you compare it to other countries, I think it's, and, and I've moved around quite a bit, it's much easier to sort everything out in other places than it is in Madrid or in Spain. I think there's so much more that we can say about Madrid, but for the purpose of this video, we'll keep it short. Uh, there's a lot of things we didn't mention, like the fact that if you're a sports fan, if you like football, Madrid is a great city to be at. Obviously. Uh, and if you like going out as well, uh, yeah. the vibes are just immaculate. Nightlife is amazing. Um, young people do love Madrid because it has so much life. Like, there's always people in terraces. People go for a drink no matter what day of the week it is. So, it definitely is for people who love socializing and love doing stuff. Um, mm -hmm. However, I would say that um, if I had to give somebody advice on whether to move for, to Madrid or not, I would say that it's better for later in life when you're looking for a, a, you know, an easier lifestyle, a more relaxed lifestyle where you have things settled, you have a good career. Um, Madrid is a good place to be because you have free healthcare, there's good schools, free kids and things like that. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Oh, well, we have a spot there. Uh, I guess I agree. I mean, I've, I've been here for about a year and I've had a good experience so far. I, I'd recommend everyone, mm -hmm. anyone that ha is curious about living in this city and in this country to definitely give it a try, at least for a while. Yeah. Um, it is for some people, um, you know, that, that was my advice, but some people do love it. Young people uh, do love the city. So um, just taking into account the pros and cons of things that we have mentioned and then just kind of decide whether it's a city that is for you. Yes. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button, to comment and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Yes. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.